Hi, this is Chantal from the Purring Cat Studio and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought it'd be interesting to make a vintage postcard. I made one for my Instagram account and the amount of views I've had in just a few hours was really impressive. And that's when I realized that instead of making just a little short Instagram uh, clip why not show you how I did it because it seems many people loved it and so I hope you'll jump right in with me um, if you want to get ready I got myself a piece of um, watercolor it uh, watercolor paper sorry it doesn't have to be high quality absolutely not this is very low grade and it will work perfectly I would think that cardstock would work as well it just has to be kind of thick because we are making a postcard and uh, yes, I, I plan on making it as vintage as can be. So if you want to join in, how about we meet each other on the other side of the intro? Okay, so um, I will probably glue an image in the back. And I will probably take it from this new Butterfly Ephemera Collection booklet that I just purchased. I love it. As you know, for those of you who have been following me, um, oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. I got to craft something with it. <laughs> oh, I'm, look, it's breathtaking. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, I can't breathe. With, it's like so beautiful. I just can't handle it. <laughs> For some. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, oh this is way too beautiful. Oh, now I'm going to be worried of using them. But I will because I've conquered that fear. But it's hard because then you run out of the beautiful image. And anyways, okay, so back to what we were saying. I have pretty much every single book they've ever met, made. I really, really adore them. So I will probably use that. I'm not sure. I might change my mind. We'll see along the process. Um, for the back of the postcard because usually a postcard you have the back and the front so but you don't have to you can just decorate the front and the back leave for writing because of course your postcard becomes a journaling card when you put it in a journal that's why we're doing this in the first place right it's to put in in an eventual um, future journal so I will probably actually I won't probably I will uh, put this in uh, silent mode with music because now that you know what you need well first let me just guide you one more thing so you can use coffee I use um, these distress spray stain and you will see in the video how I use them um, but I'll give you another option you can use watercolors clearly since it is a walk watercolor paper and it would probably work just as wonderfully as this I just like playing with those and I never use them but watercolor will do um, these uh, Stabilo that I use all the time which are also water solubles and uh, they will work just the same way or like I said watercolor or gouaches if you um, put enough water so they're really thin and diluted uh, will work magically so as you can see you have many options you don't have to have the things that I have um, cardstock uh, or very very low grade watercolor that doesn't cost much and it could be just a scrap from another project just as long as it's the size that you want it I think this size is good it could have been a miniature postcard because again it, we are making an ephemera um, something to stick in a journal um, it's not a real postcard that's gonna go through the mail so you really can have fun with it you can have it the size you want and use what you have I am just here to inspire you I'm just here to give you a kickstart if you will the rest is really up to the uh, materials that you have and your own inspiration so without any further ado uh, let's get to it thank you for watching see you soon and here we go
I'm back simply because I wanted to say um, I forgot to mention that these are from my papers and I printed them on this um, water slide um, decal paper and that allows me to have a bit like these transfer me sheets but they're my own right and and so it allows me to do just like I think it's from dress my craft they have these transfer me sheets um, I find them a little expensive myself but um, the pack of paper that I've gotten is well worth it because I choose specifically the images that I want and then I print them on them um, there are instructions that come with the pack but I use them you know my own way and to finish of course if you want to make like somewhat of a real um, you know postcard usually a postcard has the message here the address and then the image of wherever the postcard is coming from or whatever image so it could be an image like this right and then it really looks like a postcard however I think I want to keep this image to do something else because I want this to be the main uh, attraction if you will of this ephemera because I want this to be a journaling card like journaling space in the back so I think what I'm going to do is do some more of these fake uh, coffee stains like coffee mug stains I think that it adds even more and this is like you know how I, I'm just like this is like a little bit of a mess let's say you know nothing special there you go and um, you can make very thin lines for writing or leave it like that this becomes your journaling card and of course on the back your journaling space so this is it this is the back I just dried it and this is the front I want to leave it this way because I really love the idea that this is an ephemera that looks like uh, an old vintage postcard of course I did have um, stamps I don't have many this is the only one that says carte postale so that's how I managed to do it. Um, uh, many of you already have all kinds of stamps, you know, for um, postcards. And so I used whatever I had. And I had these. But any um, old stamp or an ephemera, you know, they, they sell those that you just have to cut around like a fussy cut. You can make your own faux stamps like I've done before. So there's all kinds of ways you can achieve that. You can grab a stamp from one of an envelope you've received and just cut it, fussy cut it and glue it on there. You know you're a crafter. You have all kinds of options. I'm always trying to let you know that you can use whatever you want. So like I said at the beginning, whether it's watercolor or the distress uh, sprays that I have right here, um, it could be gouache that has more water in it. And then I, I inked the edge. But you could also just go around with the brush that we use to color it and just go around it'll do just the same effect so this is our vintage postcard this was a short and sweet video i really hope this inspires you and as you can see i showed you in the video different options i could have glued this butterfly here and he would just look fabulous really it could be a flower whatever you choose I'm just here, like I said, to give you ideas, to give you a kickstart to your own uh, crafting and um, inspiration journey. I hope you had fun. I hope you've learned something. And I hope to see you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>